So it's asking me to open. And voila, here is my little coffee. The, the cool thing about this restaurant is that some of the dishes are brought to the table through drones. So they have like a small... Robots are the only things that are taking part of this fabrication process. Of course, it comes with a lot of different sensors, cameras, that will allow this robot to identify people. I just used my phone to order a cup of coffee and now it's being delivered here by Datron. Look at that. I've been in China for a little bit longer than eight years. And the changes that I have seen in this country throughout this time are really mind blowing. I've had the chance to travel all around the world. I've been to countries like Japan, America, and several countries in Europe and Asia. And I have to say, I still believe China is one of the most advanced countries in the world when it comes to technology. Technology is integrated here to every single aspect of our daily lives. We have 5G connectivity everywhere, we pay with our phones, our faces, the palm of our hands. And one of the things that got my attention the most is the use of robots to simple daily tasks. Like you can order a cup of coffee and it could be delivered to the door of your building by a drone. That is crazy. And I want to show you in this video some of the coolest examples of the uses of robots here in China and how robots are helping to change the course of the history of this country and for the rest of the world. Another one of the coolest uses of robots here in China are in hotels. Delivery services are becoming something huge during the last few years. Hotel guests might also request some delivery services like some food or packages. So inside the hotels, they are counting with some robots that will take these parcels, these packages and these deliveries up the way to the room. So let's go inside and show you how it works. And here, as you can see, is a robot right next to the front desk. It works with a touch screen. So when the delivery guy comes here, simply use this part here. You need to open the door, one of the compartments, to place this coffee that we pre-ordered before. We're going to send it to the room 1508. So we place it inside. Then we choose the room 1508. Close the door. And it will just go by itself to the 15th floor. It will identify room 1508 and we'll deliver it to the guest. And I came to the room to wait for this little robot that will deliver this cup of coffee to my room. When he arrives, he's going to make a phone call. will let me know that the package has arrived in the door. Just go ahead and open and take it. I'll show you. One minute later. Now the robot has arrived. He's calling me. Hello. So let's open the door and see what is in there. Hello, robot. So it's asking me to open. And voila, here is my little coffee that I ordered. I just go and tell her, thank you very much. Close the door and it will go back to the front desk. It's just like that. And I will enjoy my little coffee in my room. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? China is the world's largest industrial robot maker, accounting for 51.9% of the global industry with around 270,000 robots newly installed just in 2021. Right behind me is where the magic starts happening. What impresses me the most is to see again the level of automation and how robots are the only things that are taking part of this fabrication process. 
course, there will be a few people double checking and inspecting the process. But in general, mostly you can see just robots doing the dirty job. The situation in robotics and automation in China has never been as exciting as today. Mostly robots or machines are the ones who are taking part of the manufacturing, the fabrication of the different products. You can see those robotic arms in the back. They are right now assembling the different parts of the car. We're coming to visit a kind of a futuristic restaurant. The lamps of the restaurants are planets. It's called Orbit One. The cool thing about this restaurant is that some of the dishes are brought to the table through drones. So they have like a small capsule or a small room inside where the drones will take the plates from the kitchen to like a landing area. And then from that landing area, they will be uh, brought to the table through kind of like a magnetic transportation belt. In that room over there, uh, there are drones that are taking the food from the kitchen to the landing area. One of our dishes is ready, so that drone went all the way to the kitchen, but it's just right there to pick it up and bring it over here. Chinese government introduced a series of measures to promote the innovative development of the robotics industry. The measures seek to speed up the innovation and breakthroughs in robotics, enhance the development of industrial clusters, and boost its applications. But we have another dog-like robot. I think probably comes with more advanced technologies since it has some kind of sensors that will react to movement, voice commands, signals from your hands. This robot could be like perhaps a pet for home, for help people with disabilities, maybe serve as company for elderly or for people who need, who cannot stay by themselves at home. The possibilities of technologies and robots are infinite. <laughs> My face is because this robot just jumped by itself. These kind of robots are already available in the market that you can actually purchase already. Xiaomi is developing one of these robots and you can actually purchase it for 10,000 renminbi, which is uh, around 1,500 US dollars. They have different kind of commands. Like you can see, it's giving me the paw. You can just uh, high five with your robot dog. It comes with a lot of different sensors, cameras, that will allow this robot to identify people. It can actually respond to voice commands. You can tell different kind of things like jump, sit, go, stop, and it will recognize it. China's robotic industry witnessed a rapid development in recent years. In 2022 alone, the operating income of the country's robotic industry topped 23 billion US dollars. Look at this little cute vehicle here. It's also an autonomous driving vehicle that is actually for cleaning. It's used by companies to clean, like, of course, bigger uh, spaces, outside spaces and it has all the sensors you can see here on the top, on the front as well, it has cameras. We can clean efficiently, in a fast way, big areas, big surfaces. It is really cute. G is also allowing factories and warehouses to use high-speed data transfer to locate articles and machines 
and different kind of objects within a big space. How is it helping if we have a huge space where we have a lot of objects, a lot of products, a lot of machines, and we need to find something very specific in a short frame of time, it will be able to go uh, to the specific locations because it already has all the information uh, within the system and it will know where it's located, it will go fast, collect the product and take it to the place where I need to be taken. And that is what I'm actually doing right now. We can see right now it's moving all around the place. It's using a predetermined route to follow. So what happened right now is I got too close to the transportation machine. It has some moving sensors and it will stop right on time to avoid any kind of accident. It stopped. <laughs> This here is one of my favorites because this is an inspection card. It is also equipped with different kind of sensors and camera, so it will avoid people needs to go to the place to inspect by themselves. Instead of that, we're gonna have this card that will go to the place, take pictures, make videos, and send the data to all these sensors to be analyzed. It will inform to this data analyst and we'll let them know what the problem is so it can be avoided in real time. One of the best features of the 5G technology is how fast it is the transfer speed. Last year, over half of all industrial robots worldwide were sold in the country. With 443,000 industrial robots and 6.5 million service robots delivered, taking up more than 50% of the global market share. The pandemic also sped up the popularization of robots. The disruptions and economic pressure made companies realize that excessive reliance on manual labor brings uncertainty. I just used my phone to order a cup of coffee and now it's being delivered here by Datron. Look at that. All I need is to input my passcode and I will get my coffee. Let's enjoy some delicious coffee brought by a drone. This is actually the very first drone delivery service here in Longhua. And robots are also part of the daily life here in China. And I want to show you one of the coolest robots I've ever seen. A few years ago, I showed you a vending machine with a robot that makes ice cream. Today, I want to show you this one here is a machine that makes cotton candy. There is a robot inside as well. We have several models that you can choose from. I want to choose a colorful one. Of course, we need to pay first using our mobile payment. I already pay here and now the robot is maybe warming up. And there is a window here where the cotton candy is coming out from. And there you go. This was just 20 renminbi. It's around three US dollars. It's not bad. I mean, these kind of technologies that are making simple tasks of daily life easier and more convenient. You can find it mostly in shopping malls and parks, like this one where we are right now today. Let's give it a try. As China's economy rapidly recovers in 2023, companies are more willing to invest in automated production lines. Over recent years, China has rolled out a range of policies and blueprints to facilitate the development of the industry. 
which set the target of doubling the nation's manufacturing robot density by 2025. The government master plan is pursuing a focus in the application of robots in 10 key sectors, in more than 100 innovative application technologies and solutions. Robot density in the manufacturing industry in China is currently 392 robots per 10,000 employees. The country hopes to have around 500 robots per 10,000 workers by 2025. However, 500 robots per every 10,000 employees is still only half of the robot density of South Korea, which reached an all-time high of 1,000 robots per every 10,000 employees in 2021. Industrial robots have already been adopted in 65 industries and 206 sub-industries, with their application in fields such as new energy, automobile, lithium battery, and other emerging industries expanding rapidly. China jumped from being the ninth most automated country worldwide in 2020 to being the fifth most automated in 2021, surpassing Chinese Taipei, the United States, Hong Kong, and Sweden in robot density. The application of robot technology can boost efficiency, reduce costs, and improve product quality. That's why the Chinese robot industry is aiming to expand in the next 5 to 10 years, for what China will remain the largest market for robotics and automation products in the near future. A strong robot industry is an integral part of the modernization efforts of the Chinese government, and leading companies will continue to enjoy corresponding support. The country now has a powerful supply chain for most key robotic components and the demographic challenges require the use of more and more robots. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.